In capital action tonight, today, Governor Katie Hobbs announced her Prop 123 renewal plan that will raise compensation for educators and improve school safety without raising taxes. The plan would expand the current Prop 123 funding. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda has been looking into this plan and spoke to local educators to get their take. During Governor Katie Hobbs' State of the State address, she emphasized hitting a stronger Prop 123 to the voters. The current Prop 123 has put $3.5 million into K-12 schools over the past 10 years. Today, Hobbs announced a plan to extend it for another 10 years, increasing the State Land Trust permanent fund distribution to 8.9 percent. Many Southern Arizona educators are already encouraged by this initial plan. When you see a proposal put forth that is suggesting the investment of existing state resources, for this uh, mission of education, it's encouraging. Under this plan, $347 million would be put towards raising teacher salaries. Tucson Unified School District Governing Board Member Dr. Ravi Shaw believes this would help staffing at TUSD. And that's going to really help us on the recruitment and retention of, of teachers so we don't lose teachers to other states uh, as well as to other professions. Other educators feel encouraged that the governor is looking beyond teachers and wants to put $118 million into staff pay. The governor was realistic and acknowledged acknowledging that everyone that works with students deserves a raise. $257 million would also be put toward general school funding. To have that ongoing capital funding that's going to help maintain our facilities, uh, buy the curriculum and books and other things that also are included in capital, our IT infrastructure and so on, that's going to really help um, if this goes through. However, not everyone is on board with this proposal. In a statement, Arizona Treasurer Kimberly Yee states the governor's proposal is dangerous and unsustainable. It would break the bank. While this plan has a way to go before it reaches voters, some educators say discussion going forward should be cautious. I again would welcome the ability to have a certain level of autonomy and flexibility. I'd be guarded against anything that looks like it's overly restrictive. Emily Miranda, 13 News.